verbally and non-verbally. You just cannot succeed in life without being a good communicator. They are they always have a, sorry, they always have a first good impression. I don't care what business you're in, but I believe that the attire that you wear, the hygiene, it's all can say things about you. Alright? But don't go to the extreme here, but you know what I'm talking about. When you think, shall I, for guys, shall I shave this beard or not? Shave it. Okay? I'm not talking the goatee, the facial things, you know, if you have that, that's fine. If you have a beard, but trim it. Don't don't just go like you just woke up. Some of those people that I work with, <laughs> you know, fine. So because it sends an image. If you're not willing to take care of you, why should I, for example? And, and ladies, you know, no, no over on the jewelry thing. You know, just the <laughs> and on the makeup as well. Um, they do not take rejection personally. They're persistent. You know the numbers game. It takes 10 calls or you speak with 10 people. Uh, out of them, you'll have maybe six of them show up to one of the opportunity meetings. And six of them sit in an opportunity meeting. Three of them decide to sign up. And three of them decide to sign up. One of them decide to bring two people on. Uh, so just a numbers game. Right? So they, they understand that I'm not going to succeed every single time, but I'm willing to play the game to succeed. Okay? Uh, they understand, okay, they're always positive, always think of the goal. I remember when I was in front of a customer, look, I know what I wanted to achieve. I knew my quota, I knew my targets, I knew exactly uh, how much I needed to achieve my promotion, my bonus, etc. But when I'm in front of the customer, when I'm in front of a prospect, all right, I can care less about what I want because the customer can care less about what I want. What do they care most about? What they want. want. What they want. At the moment I realized that Ram is, you know, forget about what you want. Think about what how what can I do for this other person? How can I show them an opportunity, for example, that helps them with their second income? How can I show them an opportunity that maybe if they want to have extra money for medical bills or, or if they wanted to have the saving fund for their children? Do I know what they want? I've seen people trying to approach me, and by the way, don't, okay? Because I'm neutral, all right? Uh, you, I've seen people trying to approach me that were just pathetic, okay? It's like, my God, are you listening to yourself? Okay? Just take a deep breath, okay? Think. Ask a question, then talk. It's not talk and then think. You know, it's like a, um, um, fire, aim, shoot. It's not like that. It's, it's aim, shoot, you know. You, you get the idea, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't know what I was talking about, but I was really into it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they possess, uh, okay, yeah, they have a high degree of integrity, yeah, uh, integrity. I cannot have lived, I cannot have performed um, being in business for 20 or for 15 years, I was self-employed, with doing things in an unethical way. How many of you here want to be in business for one month? Because if you want to be in business for one month, I can tell you, you can go make lots of money in one month. But then it'll all be gone. <coughs> and you will be in prison. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, you have a great product, you can go say anything. Get the money and go. But that's not how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. That's not how it's done. If you really, really understand this concept that, okay, integrity, ethics, if you don't know something, say, I don't know. I would find out. Let's go on the website together and, and identify this. Customers or people will respect you for that. That's how you learn the right things. Ask people that know more. But just don't go make it up yourself. If you're not 100% sure of something, please, please don't say it. Because you ruin the opportunity, not just for you, but for other, others like you in the industry. Follow. Okay. So that, and then they're always prepared. And they're always prepared in a sense where if I'm going to go meet somebody, okay, I'm going to know about this person. Something. Okay. I'm going to know something about them. That, that. And then they know their stuff. So you know your presentation, you know your product, you know you have the, the material and brochures all in place. You follow? You don't go and say, oh, I picked up my laptop. Or, you know, yeah, there's this thing and I think it works like that. Get serious about this business because if you treat it like a business, 
it gives you results on the business. If you treat it like a hobby, you're going to keep playing with it. Okay? <laughs> so, here is the process. The sales process. You have pre-call. The pre-call is what you do before you visit somebody. Before you talk about anything. You have the in-call. What do you do inside the visit? And you have the post-call. So, pre-call, in-call, and post-call. Alright? Now, um, have you ever imagined Muhammad Ali, okay, the big boxer, okay? He has a big fight, and he just shows up without warming up, without studying his opponent, without being mentally prepared and fit and understand what he wants to achieve. He just shows up and starts fighting because I am number one, right? Wrong. Wrong. There's lots of planning, preparation that happens. And that planning and preparation will save you a thousand time on execution. When you know, do you think I've prepared this presentation? Yes. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> of course I have. Of course I have. I was in the corner, I was practicing. I was talking to myself. I was making the jokes I, that I thought were funny. Okay? <laughs> you know? But that's how you become good. That's how you become good. Okay, so here are the seven steps to the same. And I'm going to just quickly go through them, and I'm going to explain each and every one of them. Then I'm going to focus on the middle part, because that's the most important. So you establish rapport. People buy from people they like, right? Wrong. Kind of right. At least you wouldn't buy from somebody that you don't like, would you? Okay. So at least establishing rapport, making a friend is important. You follow? Okay. Identifying a problem. A general problem and making it a specific problem. Maybe today individuals are spending too much money on phone bills. How much money you spend on phone bills, Mr. Okay. Do you, you know, how does that add up? How much does that add up to you during at the end of the, the month or at the end of the year? And what would you do with that money if you didn't have to spend it on, on that? How you know what other things you, you could use that money for? And the customer starts thinking of the fun part he can do with this money that he's saving. You see what I'm doing? So you, you're potentially identifying a problem and then making it more specific and how does it apply to them. Present the solution and build value. So once you have a problem, you come up with a solution, build value. You compare with competitive products. I'm going to give you an example right now. You create urgency to buy today and you ask for the order. You obtain the commitment. You've seen many commercials today on TV, and a good commercial could be like, I don't know, Ariel, all right? And maybe you see, or maybe Olo, okay? Uh, they have this thing, dirt is good, right? So, um, over the <coughs> TV, how do they do this? They, they just can't do the rapport part. But what they do, they show kids playing, and they show moms going like, uh-huh. <laughs> so what are the moms doing? Identifying with this. That's me, or that's my little Johnny, or that's my little Kareem, or that's my little whatever, you know? And boom in the mud! Yeah, the knees, and they go sliding, and all the great things. And the mother said, yeah, that's me. And this, these parts are very, very hard. The white, beautiful pants I had bought him, you know, for, for <laughs> this is going to be painful. Solution. They will show you how the OMO will do the trick. They can each actually compare it. They put a, a comparison with two brands. They tell you, look at this, you put it in water, in a regular one, and look at this, you put it in this OMO, right? And wow, this one works better than this one. And people believe it. By the way, OMO's awesome. <laughs> Okay, almost, almost awesome. That's the company I work with, okay? So, <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm, I'm serious about that one. It's very good. You can actually try it. I'm not selling it. 